What's gonna be gang? It's gonna be popping, and I'm back with another video. I'm not gonna be as hype in this video to be real with y'all. Don't click off though, cause I'm finna I'm finna steal some stuff. Um, I have some people been asking for story times, and I have some stories. I want y'all to hear. And while I tell y'all these stories, I'm going to be untwisting my hair. So, yeah. I did these twists a couple of days ago. I was supposed to be doing a twist out. And I was supposed to take them out today. But I didn't. So, um, I'm looking like I got dreads. But, uh. Ugh, I look crazy. But I'm about to be taking these twists out and telling y'all a story time. Okay, this story time is going to be kind of, it's my story. One of my stories, you feel me? If y'all didn't know. Wow. Like, dang, I'm really opening up to the world, like. Okay. So, if y'all didn't know, I have been molested. Um, so this is going to be kind of emotional. I don't know if I'm going to cry or none of that. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so. Oh, my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Like, okay. Okay, so I was 13. I was 12, actually. My birthday was in three days. I had this cousin. We're going to call him... We're going to call him D. I had this cousin named D. Um... <laughs> Wow, I had this cousin named D. For one, before I get into this story, I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and comment on some videos you want me to do. If y'all want more story times of things, let me know. This is a bit personal, you feel me? But I feel like there are kids out there, even, even young kids teens grown-ups like there are people out here who need to hear this story that i know can relate to me um <laughs> i just want y'all to know like y'all are really strong if y'all been through this y'all are really strong because stuff like this is not easy to go through it's something that follows you your whole life i'm gonna be real with y'all it's like Having a kid, you have a kid for you with you the, your whole life. Like, it's like seeing someone die that follows you your whole life. Um, being molested, I'm, I'm gonna say, like I said, it's not easy, that's not anything that you can just get over anybody. Then, if anybody's been molested or close to being molested you feel me any type of way you're not just going to get through it i'm gonna be honest with you i mean you're gonna get through it but you're not gonna get over it is what i mean to say you're not gonna get over it excuse me um i want y'all to know that you go through things for a reason okay everything happens for a reason nobody is perfect but for you to relate to somebody, you have to go through something, okay? You have to go through something and be strong through it, okay? Wow, like, I'm about to cry already, and I'm not even into the story. Like, I was 12 years old. I had a cousin named D. My birthday is February 23rd. His birthday is February the 20th. My cousin D turned 21 on his birthday, and I was 12. Oh, my God. Mm. 
we were outside and we were playing football. It was me, him, my brother, my sisters. We were just outside throwing the football, you know. Things that most kids don't really get to do with their parents, you know. Not most kids, but kids who don't have, like, parents who are, who go outside with them and stuff, you know. But, you know, it was like a cousinly thing that we did. And we would go outside and throw a football, play basketball, like, yeah. So, one day we was outside, we was throwing the football to each other. My cousin, D would always tell, he would always say that I was his favorite. I'm 13. I was 12. I won't think of nothing of it. I keep saying I'm 13. I was 13 because my birthday was in three days, but I was 12. Um, I didn't think nothing of it when he said I was his favorite. You know, I felt kind of good. Like, yeah, I'm his favorite. Yeah, like, you know, not thinking. You feel me? Also, my mama had us growing up to where if it was somebody who ever touched us in the wrong areas, we were not supposed to be touched, to scream and let her know immediately. Things did not go down that way. That's all I'm going to say. Things did not go down that way. Um, I'm trying not to make this a super long story time, but I'm trying to, you know, let y'all fill y'all in so it can make sense to y'all. So, <laughs> this is crazy. So, um, yeah, we was on the porch one day at my grandma's house. And he was like, you know, I really enjoyed the company. Like, y'all are fun. Like, I love y'all. Y'all my cousins. But I look at y'all as, like, siblings also. You feel me? sisters and brothers and stuff he said that y'all so when he said i was his favorite i'm not thinking nothing of it because you know you got siblings that will say oh yeah you're my favorite sister or you're my favorite brother you know they say it on the low they don't you feel me so he would say that and um my sister would get like kind of sad about it like man i wish i was your favorite you know she didn't mention it though, but you know, yeah. So, um, <sighs> wow. So, um, we, it was at his night of his birthday. You know, when you know when you at your grandma's house, like, and your cousin's over, or, you know, or just, You'll get, you'll sleep on the couch. You make you a pallet on the floor, like, you know, whatever. So my little sister, one of my sisters were sleeping on the couch. One of my sisters made a pallet on the floor. My brother was in my uncle's room playing the game and on a microphone. I was in the living room watching Jesse. I had on black leggings. With the blue shirt. A black and blue shirt. <sighs> Look, it's crazy, bro. I was watching Disney Channel, you know, watching Jesse. He was in the kitchen. He was, I think, I was making him a sandwich. Um. I'm sorry, y'all. It's like when you go through something like this, y'all understand. Like, it's not nothing easy to talk about. Even though it's personal, y'all probably like, well, they don't talk about it then. But it's like, I want my story to be heard. I want people to know that like, I can relate to y'all pain. Like, I want y'all to know, like, it's okay. Like, it's not okay, but we can get through this. You know, you can... <sighs> Can't even say that. I'll get into what I'm talking about in a minute. So, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. He's making him a sandwich. I was watching TV. 
He told me he was going to come watch TV with me after he um gets Vinny his sandwich. It's like, okay, you know, we finna watch Jesse. I'm just sitting there watching it while he eating a sandwich. So he comes in the living room and I'm, mind you, I'm sitting on the couch. Now the way I'm sitting, my grandma had like this long tannish couch, tannish brown couch. And it's like the orange part right here, then it's super long, then it's the other orange part. So, excuse me. I was sitting on this side. The TV was all the way over there. I was sitting like this, and I had my legs straight. And, you know, I'm just watching TV. So, he told me to slide over, and I told him no. So, he said he was just going to sit on the, um, he said he was going to go to sleep. Is what he said. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to clear my throat. He said he was going to go to sleep. Or whatever. I'm sorry. That is so annoying to y'all probably. But he said he was going to go to sleep. And. <laughs> so. I was like, okay. He told me to give him a kiss. I was raised not to kiss boys. Like, no. Keep your mouth to yourself. I said, I don't kiss boys. He said, I'm your cousin. He said, I still don't want to kiss you. Like, like. Now, mind you, my mama raised us to, if we see, she would, every day before school, or if we go to outside, she would show us pictures of rapists, all of that, that's, like, in our neighborhood, that's near us. If we see them, run inside, or you feel me, go tell her, scream, do something. So, and we would watch the news of, like, Of sex trafficking and um <laughs> I was that was one of my biggest fears to be raped you know I'm sorry y'all that was one of my biggest fears was to be raped or be so Oh my God, or be so. I'm so sorry, y'all, but like, the junk is hard. <sighs> trying to stay strong for y'all, like, what the heck? Or it be so. That, um. So yeah, we were um sitting on the couch, and he told me that, and I was like, no. <sighs> Whatever. She was like, well, fine then. For me, like, so all of a sudden he started touching my leg. Oh my lord, he started touching my leg, and I looked at him like, He pulled his thing out and he put it on my bottom. I'm trying to use words that so like they won't for me. So y'all basically know what I'm talking about. He put his thing on my bottom. Um I was scared. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My mom was prepared. My mom was prepared us. If anything like that was to happen, us to scream or run. But it's like when this when you're in that situation, it's not that easy. I was scared 
her death. My heart was racing. I didn't know what to do. It's like everything that I was taught just went away. I felt like a scared child, like a terrified child. I was 12 years old. I didn't know what was going on. I was confused. I was like, yo, why is my cousin trying to do this to me? Oh my God, yo, I'm sorry. Oh my God. I was scared. Y'all have been crying basically all day about this, bro. I didn't plan on making this video, but, um, I did some things last night, some research last night on my cousin. And stuff, like, that stuff still weighs on my chest, bro. Like, I'm 16. I'm about to be 17, bro, in February. And you feel me, like, if this junk still weighs on me, bro. I was 12. Like, years ago, bro. <laughs> And it's not the only time that this happened. <laughs> He's not the only cousin that tried to do this to me. <laughs> Ow, bro. Okay. He put it on me. I'm I still have my clothes on. I was scared all of a sudden and it wasn't as if he was turned towards me when he had his pants up and it was probably just there he pulled it out and put it on me I was 12 years old I never knew what that felt like that wasn't on my mind that was the last thing on my mind Oh my god. I'm sorry, y'all. He... Yo, I'm gonna be crying through this whole video. Like, I was not planning on crying. I mean, I knew I was gonna get a little bit emotional, but like, because I done been crying all day. Like, dang, I still got tears. Like, what the heck? But anywho. Excuse me. Anywho. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get myself together, y'all. So, you forgot to give me the strength. Okay. He grabbed my hand. He made me play with it. I was 12 years old, bro. This is three days before my birthday. If any child goes through this, you know, I just pray. Anybody who goes through this, I just pray to God, like, stay strong, bro. Because I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's not, not at all. No matter how much you pray, no matter how much you cry, and no matter who you talk to, this young, it follows you your whole life, bro. Your whole life. <laughs> like, I don't know how anybody else gets over it and how they just keep it going. Like, I just look at them like, bro, uh, give me some of your strength. Like, I am super strong, y'all. Like, I'm still tend to hold them. I'm still holding them on. But it's like, dang, bro. Like, how can I live every day knowing I went through this? More than once, bro. <laughs> Me and my cousin was like this. Y'all, this video is like be 20 minutes. And I'm not even all the way into the video yet. Like, me and my cousin was like this. I was sitting on the couch. And he was turned towards me. Like this. And had his stuff like this he had this stuff on me bro he grabbed my hand this hand he made me grab his stuff he made me play with his stuff
He tried to be mean. He tried to put his hands in my pants. moved I just got up I didn't say nothing he did all this to me and he said he did all this to me then he said You can get up if you want to. I was afraid. What would he have done to me? What if this is my other sibling? <laughs> what would he do if I told? How does he think it made me feel? How did he feel? Why would he be satisfied to do this with your cousin, somebody that you looked at as a sister? Why would that be okay to you? Why? Well, who wants to hurt a child like that? A child. And there's plenty of women on these streets that is selling themselves. There's plenty of women out here you can meet. But to hurt a child, your own family, blood. Yeah. This is why women are angry. This is why we have angry black women. Because of the stuff we have to put up with. Not anymore. I pray that often. I pray that often anybody. Not anymore. It's too much out here in this world that we already have to go through. It's too much. But by your own family, bro. Your own. It's, I ain't gonna say it's different. But it's like, if you go out here and it's somebody that you don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I I wish this never happened to me, but I would have rather it been somebody I don't know than somebody that was this close to me in my family. Not no cousin that is of every now and then, like, bro, dude, you was staying with us. Bro, my parents, my aunties grew up with you. Your sisters and brothers were close to us. Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Anywho. I got up. You told me not to tell nobody. I was afraid. I felt like my life was in danger. It was already in danger. Now I feel like I have a predator after me. I went in my uncle's room. I was going to tell my brother. He followed behind me. I'm not dumb. Just so you will make sure I'm not telling nobody. What was you gonna do? You gonna kill my family? You was gonna kill me? You know what I mean? Like, this is stuff you have to think of. It's more than this. Oh, I must got right. It's more than that. It's now you had the guts to do this to me. 
how do I know you don't have the guts to pull the trigger because I told on you? Because now you're registered as a sex offender. For 10 years. The things that went through my mind, bro, was in the sixth grade. December 16, 2016, was the day my uncle died. Not even two months after that, I've almost been raped by my closest cousin that picked up my uncle's casket. He carried my uncle's casket, bruh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all, when I tell you, this builds up so much anger in me, bruh. I am, I am a believer of the Father. But I'm angry. I am an angry young woman. Angry, bruh. I didn't even, I'm not even grown yet. And I'm already angry. A child my age should be out here living their best life and enjoying being a teenager. And I'm stuck having flashbacks of my cousin touching me. I'm stuck having a flashback of him telling me not to tell nobody. <laughs> I'm stuck having flashbacks of seeing his face. I'm stuck having flashbacks of him one day seeing me. I'm having freaking dreams of him killing me. It's hard. Like, no, I don't want a therapist because it's like, man, I'm getting through it. I'm still here. I pray. Like, I have the strength. It's just... When it's something like this, you will never get over it. You will have all types of stuff running through your mind. It's like getting a therapist might help, but it's not going to get rid of what goes through your head. It's not going to get rid of what happened because it happened. It happened. You can't just look over it, bro. <laughs> I'm going to make part two so this video doesn't be an hour long. I love y'all. Stay blessed.